it's time for Steve Gallimore Live. For the next hour, we'll examine the world around us through news, science, and philosophy. Then we'll open up God's Word to put it all into perspective. Now here's your host, Steve Gallimore. Great to be with you today. I'd like to ask you a question. Have you broken your New Year's resolutions already? Well, if you are and you have done that, you are not alone. We're going to talk today about keeping those things, those principles in our lives that are important, those decisions that we make for ourselves, how to get those implemented and actually stick with them. Your calls, as always, are welcome, 800-775-4673. So plan on giving us a call with your questions or comments. And we have an expert guest, of course, that's going to join us in just a moment. And you may have questions about keeping those New Year's resolutions. Well, according to some recent research, this is a research that was done by the Opinion Corporation of Princeton. And here it goes. 45% of Americans make New Year's resolutions. 45% make them. Well, how many end up keeping them? According to this research, about 8% of people are always successful in achieving their New Year's resolutions. And some of you may be discouraged now. You say, well, if my ability to achieve is, uh, you know, if I only have an 8% shot at it, maybe it's not worth doing at all. Well, some people achieve not on everything, but they do achieve, well, maybe every other year or so. And when you throw that in, the numbers get up to maybe around close to 50% of people that are able at some juncture to keep a New Year's resolution. So it's not all hopeless. Now, here's something else that is very, very important. This is a different piece of research. This one uh, comes from a, uh, a, a source that, is, uh, that talks about uh, resolutions at work. In fact, there's a book entitled Goal-Free Living. But what they mention is, is really intriguing to me, and that is that about if you make a New Year's resolution, you are 10 times more likely to actually make that change in your life. So if you have a change that you want to make in your life, then what you do is you say, okay, I'm going to make a New Year's resolution. And if you do that, you're 10 times more likely than if you did not make a New Year's resolution to make the changes that you want to make. Now, I know for Christians, this all becomes very important because as Christians, we want to do everything that we can that will bring honor and glory to God, that will order our lives in the proper way. In fact, you know, Jesus said in the Sermon on the Mount, he says, be perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect. Now, we know that we live in an imperfect world and that we are imperfect people. And some people have a perfectionistic complex and end up driving themselves to distraction or maybe even worse. That, of course, wasn't what Jesus was talking about and not what we're talking about today. But there is, especially on the part of Christians, a desire to succeed and to do things well. So many Christians, along with uh, everyone else in the world, will make New Year's resolutions. We're going to look at it uh, from a, well, from a varied perspective today. We're going to look at practical principles. We'll think about it, of course, also from the standpoint of the Bible and of the call of Jesus in our lives to follow the Christian path. Stay with us. There's a lot more to come. 800-775-4673. We'd love to hear from you. So get on the phone with your comments and your questions. What do you think? Give us a call. 800-775-4673. Over 12 million downloads from people in over 160 countries and territories. Available in English, Spanish, and Turkish, the Every Eye animation is touching the hearts of millions around the world. To get your copy, call 800-775-4673. The Life Talk combo comes with five animations and a DVD for showing to larger groups. With your gift of any amount, we'll send you the Life Talk combo when you call 800-775-4673. Life Talk is revolutionizing the way you listen to Christian radio. Life Talk is now broadcasting on Live365.com, streaming CD quality music and live talk programs 24 hours a day, 7 days a week over the internet. Live365.com allows you to use your favorite audio programs like iTunes, Windows Media Player, or Winamp so you don't have to spend time learning a new program just to listen. 
Life Talk Kids is one of three audio streams available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you're a kid between the ages of 3 and 15, you'll love this music. Life Talk Kids plays great programs like Your Story Hour, The Bible in Living Sound, and The Bible Explorers Club, along with lots of great children's music. Parents, Life Talk Kids draws hearts of kids to the heart of God. Why not support Life Talk and become a Live 365 VIP member today? For as little as 12 cents a day, you can get VIP access to all three of our audio streams, as well as streams from over 10,000 other professional and amateur stations around the world in every genre possible. Search Life Talk at live365.com and click the banner to receive a free five-day trial of all that Live 365 has to offer. That's live365.com, keyword lifetime. We're talking today about planning our lives out, and of course, part of that is making resolutions to make changes in our lives. Many people, of course, think about well, stopping smoking, for instance, or eating a better diet, or getting finances in order. Or, you know, those typical New Year's resolutions that people make. And I mentioned a moment ago that not everyone keeps all of their New Year's resolutions. In fact, according to the research, only about 8%. However, if you make a New Year's resolution, if you make some endeavor, according to one piece of research at least, then you're 10% more, or 10 times rather, more likely to actually keep the resolution. I have Wings of Love, Wings of Love by Charles Mills. We're giving that away today. If you'd like to have a copy of it, give us a call. We, out, we have only one. We'll have a drawing for it at the end of the program. 800-775-4673. All right. We have a great guest today. We have Marcel Suentes, who is a professional certified life and corporate coach. He is a speaker and a trainer. He has clients nationally all across the country. And he helps people get their lives in order and maybe keep some New Year's resolutions. So, Marcel, welcome. We're delighted to have you on the air today. Pleasure being here. Thank you. All right. According to uh, uh, some research that we've noted, people, if they make a New Year's resolution, are 10 times more likely to make some change in their life than a person that just lets it go by and says, well, you know, I'm going to change that sometime. So, I don't know, you, <laughs> we'll, we'll get into some of the specifics of how uh, you get uh, our lives on track. But uh, first of all, what do you think of New Year's resolutions? <laughs> as long as you, um, you prioritize your New Year's resolutions and that priority is on your plate for most of the year, you're in good shape. Sometimes that falls off your plate and that's why people don't keep their New Year's resolutions. All right, well, if, uh, if a person makes a New Year's resolution then that's a good thing? That's always uh, a good thing. It's, a, it's, a, it's a, uh, a statement of commitment for, for that year. So even if it's not at the new year, those kinds of resolutions can have a meaningful impact on our lives, I would assume. Absolutely. Because at some point we have to make a decision to make a change, right? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, people that uh, uh, are, are having issues, whether it's in the workplace or at home, um, once they identify what those issues are, then they need to make a, a, a change. And, and that's that's what, where a New Year's resolution comes in. Well, is, is the first step in keeping our lives the way that they ha have always been, is in not recognizing those things that need to be changed and then making a decision to do something about it? That's right. There's, it, you always start with sort of identifying yourself uh, where your um, need for change is. Uh, I work a lot with clients in transition, and so they come to me um, not really knowing, or a lot of them have obstacles in the way. So once they I identify what the obstacles are, then you can make steps to get around those obstacles and, and take some action to it. All right, well, let's get our audience acquainted with you. Now, uh, you're, not, you're not a psychiatrist, and, uh, and even though you have coaching in your name, you're not a PE teacher. Correct. Uh, but give us a little bit about uh, your background, and because this is a, a unique endeavor. When I say unique, there are others like you, mm -hmm. but uh, not that widespread, I assume. Uh, so tell us a little bit about the background and why you do what you do. Well, in a nutshell, um, my background actually came from human resources. A lot of life coaches transition into, uh, into coaching from helping profession, uh, disciplines like uh, 
HR, corporate training, a lot of them are teachers mm -hmm. and they go into life coaching. We also have a, a, a great amount of, uh, of transitions from people in the therapy and the counseling professions who are now moving into life coaching. So um, that's the way I came in. I came in from the corporate arena, having uh, trained employees and uh, helped uh, uh, with you know, HR training. And then I got licensed uh, to become a uh, certified life coach. All right, what is a certified life coach? <laughs> Life coaches work with individuals like you and me okay. um, who want to succeed and want to bridge the gap between where they are and, and where they want to be. So you're not be. looking for people that feel maybe that they're miserable failures, you're looking for just anyone. Right? Well, unlike, okay. uh, unlike therapy, there's the therapy model usually focuses on people with emotional or behavioral right. problems. I focus on people that want to bridge the gap and move on. We'll be right back, there's more to come, so plan on giving us a call. Call 800-775-4673 to share your thoughts on Steve Gallimore Live. I'm Dr. James Markham with your daily heartbeat. I have a saying I like to say and it's this, it's at the heart of healing is love. Now what would that mean and what would that have to be with healing? But did you know that love is a way that we can change our body's chemistry? There's been studies done that show people that have animals, which could include a dog or a cat, if they have them, they actually have less heart attacks, less stroke, less infectious diseases, and even less malignancy. Well, do you think it's anything about these animals yelping and barking and meowing that changes the chemistry? No, it's not. It's the love that's shown between owner and manual. Likewise, we know that people that are happily married, if one of the spouse should suddenly die or get sick, that there's a greater likelihood of the other spouse developing a disease. So at the heart of healing is love. And love is one of the most valuable treatments we have to stay healthy. Life Talk Radio presents Around the Globe in 30 Seconds. For almost two decades, Life Talk has been building its presence in countries around the globe. Every day, Steve Gallimore and the Life Talk audio engineers broadcast the radio signal that spreads the gospel to 150 countries like Japan, South Africa, Colombia. These are just a few of the many countries that Life Talk Radio is in, and the list continues to grow. Get involved. Even the smallest donation goes a long way to spreading the word around the globe. Our number is 800-775-4673, and we are talking today about life coaching, changing our lives, keeping some of those New Year's resolutions. Your calls are welcome, and as we mentioned a moment ago, we have a Charles Mills CD. Charles is great, and it is entitled Wings of Love. He's the same Charles Mills that has heard on several programs on Life Talk Radio, and uh, Charles is a great host, but he's also a musician. And he has this wonderful CD on Wings of Love. If you'd like to have a copy, give us a call. Join us on the air. We'll have a drawing for it. It's our way of saying thank you. As we mentioned a moment ago, we have a guest that is a life counselor. And we're talking today with Marcel Schwantes about planning our lives. And Marcel, let's come back to uh, life coaching and uh, help us understand now a little more completely what a life coach does because many in our audience today may say okay I've made New Year's resolutions I want to make changes but my track record isn't all that good and I'd like to find someone that can be helpful to me and kind of you know work with me to to get things in direction I, I'm a firm believer that all of us that everyone needs someone else I mean that's part of humanity mm -hmm, we need mm -hmm, each other mm -hmm. And uh, in your case, of course, you're a professional mm -hmm. helping others to do the things that they want to do, the mm -hmm. things that they want to change. So uh, tell us once again about exactly what you would do. Someone would come to you wanting to make changes. What do you do? Well, uh, f first I assess what, what the situation is. Okay. Uh, and then we create steps 
towards sustainable growth. Um, I'm, my, my process is to be a framework for those people to uh, guide them towards change. Um, I don't have all the answers, mm -hmm. but I draw from their own brilliance and their own resources yeah. to get them to meet their goals and, and, and create breakthroughs in life. All right. So someone comes to you, and I assume that they come to you because they want to make changes. Most of the time, yes. Sometimes it's people are, are stuck, but they don't know what kind of changes they need to make, yes. Okay. And so when they, when they come to you and say, I want to make a change, you make an assessment. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, do, do you just wait for them to come and say, here's a list and here are the things I want to change? Or when you make the assessment, do you say to them, these are the things that you need to change, forget the rest of it? Both ways. Sometimes okay. it works both ways. Uh, usually it's the, uh, the former, where people already know what, what changes they need to make, whether mm -hmm. it is a lifestyle change involving health and nutrition, um, or they understand that they're no longer fulfilled in their careers. Okay. So, um, so they will solicit the, the, the advice of a life coach to walk through the steps, and, and then I apply the, 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 the coaching process to do that. Well, let me, let me ask you this. Since we're talking about life coaches and what they do, I mean, is this just another way for people to spend money, or do they actually, <laughs> or can you help them? Uh, uh, some people, have, sometimes they all, all they need is a sounding board. Okay. And I listen, and then I ask powerful questions. Right. And sometimes these questions are very uh, confrontational in, in one way, because it, it helps the people to see where they are mm -hmm. and, uh, and calls them to accountability about right. making lasting changes. So people, people come to you because they want to, not because they're sent there or something of that nature? That's they, correct. We, okay. uh, no one's ever coerced into a coaching relationship. If they are, then I would question the, 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 you know, the, uh, the intentionality of that in the first place. Well, should, should anyone be embarrassed to say, you know, I keep making new, these New Year's resolutions. I can't really keep them very well. 